Hi, sports fans. We are the holiday season is fast approaching and with it, one of the all time great traditions in any sport anywhere. Thanksgiving Day football, the Detroit Lions. It's a tradition that they began in 1934 and it continues again this year with the Detroit Lions hosting the Houston Texans at Ford Field. Who better to talk about it than one of the all time great Detroit Lions, Chris Spielman. Chris, you played in eight of those games as a member of the Detroit Lions. I'm sure you have specific games. What was your overall feeling? About playing on Thanksgiving. I remember my first rookie year in 1988. I thought it was the coolest thing ever because like a lot of other kids in the Midwest and a lot of NFL fans or kids that followed the NFL, your Thanksgiving holiday was built around watching the Detroit Lions play whoever they were going to play in the Silverdome. And so you go back to the, you know, I go back to Gary Danielson and Billy Sims, of course, and watching the Al Bubba Baker and Doug English, uh, Watching those games, Mike, to me, uh, and to finally be able to play one, it was almost surreal. Like, I can't believe I'm actually participating in what everybody around the country is watching. The other thing I used to do as a kid, and I actually thought about this, was that after the game, if you didn't stay in and watch the Cowboys, a football game would usually break out in our house. And so <laughs> one team would be the Lions, and the other team would be ever who the Lions were playing. So. I just think to be part of that history and, and how great it is for the Detroit franchise to have that Thanksgiving game uh, part of their uh, season every single year, it means something. It was special to me and it's still special to me. I've often thought that that's as much a game for the fans as it is for the players, and especially here in Detroit. This was our game. Yeah. it was, You know, that's right, Mike. It, it was our game. and. It, it seemed like we always played pretty well on Thanksgiving for whatever reason. I, I don't know what that reason was, and hopefully against the Texans, the Lions can do that. But I always felt like we played pretty well, and I know that we were all very excited to play in it, and it was an advantage for us back then. You know, not everybody had a short week. We, we played on that short week. We were at home, and so we knew that we had an advantage, and we usually responded pretty well. Well, Chris, you guys got on a run there in the 90s. You made the playoffs four times in five years from 91 to 95. But I think a real pivotal moment in Wayne Fonts' tenure as head coach was Cleveland Browns on Thanksgiving Day. One of your old pals, Bernie Kozar, coaching for, or playing quarterback for the Browns. And you went out and beat them. You had all those injuries. I remember uh, Ken Dallafor, the offensive lineman, had a bad knee and he taped an aspirin up to his knee to get over it and all that. Do you remember that game and what that was like? And, really really turned it around because you won your last five games of that season and it really launched the Wayne Fonts regime and you guys with it. Yeah, well, I think back then, in 1989, uh, it was Cleveland coming into the Silverdome and being a Northeast Ohio kid, I was excited against playing against the Cleveland Browns and Bernie Kosar, right? Bernie was a, a state hero here in, in, in the state of Ohio because he was the quarterback of the Cleveland Browns, and especially for me, because Bernie and I are, are from both are from Northeast Ohio. And the one thing I remember most about that game was that I actually got a, might have been my first or second quarterback sack. I couldn't believe I got a sack. I came free out of blitz, and I almost missed Bernie Kozar. Now, do you know how, how difficult that would is to miss a sack on Bernie Kozar? I mean, not to get him down, to actually miss the sack, would be a, a feat in itself, but I was able to kind of swing around and, and get him to the ground. But for me, it was the coolest moment because it was kind of like a childhood memory and a childhood dream. And I'm at, I was actually living it, playing against my hometown team, playing for the Lions on Thanksgiving Day and getting a sack on a guy that I admired uh, in Bernie Kosar growing up. And then in 1995, I remember you started uh, three and six, and, and the owner, the late William Clay Ford, said after that loss in Atlanta that if he didn't make the playoffs, he was going to fire Wayne Fonts. Yeah. I think you guys like playing for Wayne because you won your last seven games, including an epic battle with the Minnesota Vikings on Thanksgiving Day. I think the final was 45-41, but it was just an electrifying atmosphere. Do you remember all of that? Yeah, I, I remember. How did you hold on to 41? <laughs> yeah, well... We, our defense yeah, at times where we were really, really good and our defense was really, really bad at times, but uh, we seemed to, to hold them to enough to win the game, whatever that would be, whether it's hold them to 17 or hold them to 41, we usually uh, did pretty well. And it was, uh, it was a great run. We went on a great run that year. And that's why it, it was even more special when you're playing 
and playoffs are on the line and you're fighting for division title. And, and fortunately for us, we were in that position quite a bit. You know, we talk about fan engagement and with fantasy and all that, fans actually think they own part of the team and they get, and they're pretty, pretty outspoken and pretty passionate about it. Now we have uh, legalized gambling coming to the state of Michigan with online and, and mobile gambling. Do you think that further engages the fans, gives them a little piece of the action in some, in some way? Uh, absolutely. I think, you know, from working on a TV side for this thing for so many years and being on the football side of it, I think the more you can get the fans closer to the game and engage uh, even more, it's, it benefits everybody involved. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it benefits everybody involved, but it does. It's good for the league as a whole, in my opinion. I, I've, I have strong feelings about that. I think anytime you can involve uh, not only your diehard fans, which Detroit has plenty of them, but just your casual fan base is good for the league. All right, Chris Spielman, that's a wrap for now. On Thanksgiving Day, I'll be at Ford Field covering the game, the Lions versus the Houston Texans, and you'll be on the couch at home, I'm sure, watching it. Don't overeat. You got it, brother.